Hello and welcome to Third House Creations. Uh, my name is Jessica and I am the original creator of the Fig the Fox crochet pattern. And today I'm going to show you how to get through the first four rows of the head and body of Fig the Fox. So first my supplies, I've got my Karen Simply Soft in blue mint. I have my three millimeter, 3.5 millimeter E size hook. Got my stitch marker and I've got my scissors. And away we go. So to start, chain nine. So we need to cast on a little slip knot there. And then chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, please forgive my dog, she is a beagle. Uh, so there is nine chains and we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one right here. So single crochet, like so. And then single crochet into the next six chains. One, two, three, Okay, and then you'll have one last little chain. So in this one, you're going to single crochet three into the last chain. There we go. One, two, and it kind of wants to rotate, so we're gonna do it. And three. Now you're going to rotate it, so instead of chaining one and turning it like a row, you're going to turn it around and work in a round. Now we're going to single crochet into the next six chains, and this is the back of the first chain. So here we go. And as you can see, I crocheted over that um, beginning tail. You don't necessarily have to do that because it's going to be hidden inside of Fig's head, um, but I find that it makes a cleaner look um, and covers all the bases. So there's that, and then we need to single crochet two into the very last chain, which is this little bit poking up right there. So one, and two. Okay, and that's what your work should look like. Okay, that is the end of round one. So now, round two, increase in the first single crochet. So we're going to single crochet into that first bit there. Okay, so one, and I'm gonna put my stitch marker because if you do not use one, you will be very lost and frustrated. There we go, I like these uh, locking ones from Clover. So, two crochet is an increase, see there? Now we need to single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we're going to increase in the next three single crochet stitch. So here we go. One and two is one increase. Oops, give me my yarn. One and two is another increase. One and two is my third 
increase. So you can see as it increases around, it makes that edge rounded off. Okay, we're going around again. Now we're going to single crochet into the next six stitches. Oops, is that six already? Let's count. So there's my last increase. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, so that was six. And then we're going to increase in the last two stitches. So here we go again. One single crochet, two single crochets is an increase. One single crochet, two single crochet. It's another increase. So this is what we're at. This is what we're looking like at the end of round two. Okay, for round three, I'm gonna move the stitch marker. I'm going to increase in the very first stitch. So there we go. There's one single crochet. Put that stitch marker right back. There we go. And then two single crochet is an increase in your first stitch and then stitch in the next single crochet. So single crochet in the next stitch. Now single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now in parentheses, it says increase single crochet and the next single crochet three times. So I'll show you what that means. So we're going to do an increase in the next stitch here. Single crochet one, single crochet two, increase, and stitch one time. Okay, then we're going to do it again. Increase, one, two, and then single crochet. I'm gonna do it one more time to make three. We need to increase, single crochet one, single crochet two, and then single stitch. And so we've made it around there again. Okay, now single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet. Now again, we are going to increase single crochet in the next stitch two times. So here we go. Single crochet one, single crochet two is an increase, and then single crochet. Increase, single crochet. So this is what you should have. You should have an oval at the end of round three. Okay, here we go to round four. So we're going to increase in the first stitch again. So move the stitch marker, increase, single crochet one, move our stitch marker right back in that first one. Single crochet two is an increase stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. So we have one, two. Now single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet. Now again, we are looking to increase, in parentheses, increase. Now we need to single crochet in the next two. So here we go. Increase one, increase two, and then 
one, two. I've got to do it two more times. Increase. One and two. One last time to complete going around. Increase. One and two. So you can see as you continue to go through the pattern in the next rounds, you're going to make bigger and bigger spaces in between the increases. So on the next round, you'll do one, two, and then three, and then increase. And the round after that, you'll do four and increase. As long as you continue this pattern, you will continue to have an oval until you get to round nine. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet six to go down the side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to repeat what we did on this end here. So we're going to increase single crochet one, single crochet two and stitch two. One, two. One more time. Increase. Single crochet one, single crochet two. Okay, and that's what you should be looking at. Okay, this is the back. If your work looks like this and it's on the outside, then you're working inside out. Your work should, work should curl away from you as you go. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Third House from the End uh, on Etsy or through Facebook messaging. All right. Good luck and happy hooking. <laughs>